One of the most common things I hear from small business owners is, where's my money? My P&L, also known as the income statement, shows a profit, but my bank balance never grows. In this video, we'll identify five items that drain your bank account, but don't appear on your P&L, and how to make sure you aren't caught off guard by a cash shortage in the future. The main purpose of accounting is to provide an accurate picture of the performance and activity of a business to owners, managers, and the government. Because of this, the P&L is designed to show business activity, when sales and expenses actually occur, rather than cash flows, when the cash actually changes hands. So, there are almost always some cash outflows that drain your bank balance that don't show up on your P&L. The top five drains on your bank account that don't show up on your P&L are, number one, principal payment on loans, two, credit card payments for debt from prior periods, three, capital investments, four, accounts receivable, and five, owner distributions. Let's review them now. Number one, principal payments on loans. A payment on a loan is made up of two parts. The principal, the part that pays off the amount that you borrowed, and the interest, the price you pay to the lender to borrow their money. When you make this payment, the principal portion will not appear on your P&L, but rather on your statement of cash flows. Only the interest portion will show up on your P&L, and it's usually labeled interest expense. Number two, credit card payments for debt from prior periods. Payments for this kind of debt works the same way as loan payments. The principal repayment will appear on your cash flow and the interest expense on your P&L. Number three, capital investments. A capital investment is usually considered anything you purchase to use in your business that you will utilize for more than one year. Usually equipment of some kind, like kitchen equipment, manufacturing equipment, or even a vehicle. Accountants will usually spread the expense of this investment out over the usable life of the piece of equipment on your P&L, minimizing your monthly expense causing a big difference in your P&L net gain or loss and the cash gain or loss in your bank account. The cash outflow for the equipment usually happens all at once, and this outflow will be reflected only on your cash flow statement. Number four, accounts receivable. Sales made on credit to customers where they receive the product or service but pay you back later can be recorded as revenue on your P&L, even though you haven't yet received the cash. This can cause your P&L net profit to look really great, but because you haven't yet received the payment, will cause a difference in your bank balance. Number five, owner distributions. Owner distributions are taken from the net profits or the cash balances of the business. This cash outflow is not reflected on the P&L because it's not part of the typical or required operations of the business. If you take a distribution, it will decrease your bank balance, but the decrease will not be reflected on your P&L. The answer, by using a tool called cash flow projection. A cash flow projection is a document that lists and projects all sources of cash coming into the business and all needs of cash taking cash out of the business. This is usually an internally created report for use by managers and is slightly different than the formal statement of cash flows that is required for formal financial reporting. They are both useful and show the same result but the internally created report lists more information in a way that makes gaining insight and forecasting much easier. To create a cash flow forecast, start by listing all sources of cash inflow, such as sales, proceeds from loans, and investments, and then by listing all cash outflows, like rent, utilities, and debt payments. Then, in columns from the current month and a few months into the future, project cash inflows and outflows. If you'd like help getting started, we're happy to help. Using this tool, you'll be better prepared for the cash needs of your business. If you'd like to meet in person for a cost-free one-on-one consultation for your business, we're here to help. You can register as a client on our website or just call the office.